Hello and welcome you over timesofindia.com. I am Akash Das Gupta. Now in this video today, I'm going to try and explain to you exactly how the new impact player rule in IPL is going to work. It's a rule that has been instituted and will start now from IPL 2023, which is the 16th edition of the Indian Premier League. It was a rule that was announced by the BCCI in December last year, just ahead of the last player auction, which was held on the 23rd of December. It's a rule which will see substitute players come onto the field to both bat and bowl. Uh, the idea really is to emulate other sports like football, basketball, etc., where substitutions are allowed and substitute players come onto the field or the court of play uh, to do their thing. Now, how is it going to work in the IPL? There are a number of questions that the fans still seem to have in their minds uh, uh, where some confusion still reigns and I'm going to try and answer some of those questions in this video today. First up, how do the teams select the impact player? Now it's very simple, when the two captains come for the toss along with their starting 11s, they will also have a list of four substitute players and the impact player will have to be one player from that list of four subs that both teams would have drawn up. Another question uh, that uh, is being asked by some fans now is does the impact player always have to be an Indian player well the answer to that really is no but it depends on how many foreign players the two teams have chosen to name in their starting 11s now hypothetically say there's a Mumbai Indians against KKR match that's going on and say Mumbai have named four foreign players in their playing 11 then they can only name an Indian player as an impact player However, on the other hand, say KKR have named either three or fewer uh, foreign players in their playing 11, then they are allowed to bring in a foreign player as an impact player uh, in that match. Uh, the idea, of course, is to make sure that at no given point in time are there more than four foreign players in the playing 11. It is a rule that has remained constant from the very beginning uh, of IPL and they want to keep that rule in place. Of course, whoever the impact player is once again will have to be chosen from the list of four substitutes that are named at the toss uh, along with the starting 11. Now, another question that uh, we are hearing quite often these days is when can the impact players be brought in by the teams? Now, the answer to that is that the teams can either bring in their impact player right at the start of the innings. The impact player can also be brought in at the end of an over or when a wicket has fallen or when a batter retires to make way for the impact player. However, if the bowling side brings in an impact player when a wicket has fallen or a batter from the batting side has decided to retire, the impact player can then not complete the ongoing over. He will have to wait for that particular over to get over uh, and then start bowling his quota of overs. Uh, another question that we are hearing from our readers and our viewers quite often is, can a player replaced by the impact player play any role afterwards in the match? And the answer to that is no. Once a player has been replaced, then the replaced player can't step onto the playing field, not even as a substitute fielder. Here's another question that we're hearing quite often these days. How will IPL ensure that there are only 11 batters per team when an extra player, that is the impact player, can come in and bat? Well, the answer to that is very simple. It's logical, really. Whenever the batting side, say, calls in an impact player to come in and bat after a batter has been dismissed or uh, he and the team management have chosen uh, for him to retire, then one player from the team, presumably a bowler, will not be allowed to bat. The idea is very simple, so there are only 11 batsmen who bat per innings per team. Uh, here's another question that we are hearing. Uh, can an impact player brought in by the bowling side bowl four overs? The answer to that is yes, regardless of how many overs a player who has been replaced by the impact player has bowled, the impact player can come in and be allowed to bowl his full quota of four overs. What this really means is that the teams can now really strategize very cleverly. Uh, say one team has a bowler who's very good in the power play overs. What they can do is that they can bowl out his four overs and then an impact player can be brought in towards the fag end of the innings who's very good 
in the death overs as a bowler in the death overs and he can come in and bowl uh, the death overs and trouble bat batsmen uh, at that time so the teams will of course have to strategize very well this is a new rule so it's going to take some time uh, for the teams to really sink their teeth into this rule and to make the most of it uh, we'll have to wait and see which team or teams use this impact player rule wisely and the best uh, we'll have the whole uh, IPL 2023 season of course to find the answer to that and uh, uh, it is going to take some time as most captains have been saying for the teams to sort of uh, you know get into the groove as far as this impact player rule is concerned and be very interesting to see uh, what really happens in IPL 2023 once the impact players are used more and more often both for batting and for bowling but uh, regardless of which team uses the impact player best uh, I can safely say that it it is going to perhaps make the matches much more exciting. At least it has the potential to do so because what this will do is it will take the match right down to the last ball in the last over of, of the game uh, pretty much in every match because an impact player can come in at any given point in time, uh, you know, to make an impact on the match.